Hey champions, happy weekend to you. Hope that today is a recharge for you to set up a wonderful and very awe-inspiring week ahead. A week in which you're going to create some results like you've never done before. With that being said, the topic today is about neurodivergency. Yes, if you don't know what that word is, look it up. Being neurodivergent, it means neurology. Divergent means atypical, not the normal. I am a neurodivergent person. Whether you know what that means or not, I hope you research it, you look it up. My whole life I've been like this. A neurotypical person would mean that their neurology, everything about their neural is what they consider to be normal, average, typical. I am neurodivergent, I am ADHD, I'm autistic. Yes, I'm not extreme on the spectrum, but I am autistic. I'll tell you some stories so you understand where I'm going with this. The topic of this video, by the way, which you already see is neurodivergent income success. See, in my whole life, because of my autism, I miss social cues. I know, you see me here on video and social media, and I look to be a well-polished leader within home-based business arena, network marketing. I'm very articulate. I'm very precise on the way that I deliver myself. I have a certain style. But if you saw me off camera, one of the things you'll notice is that there's things that I miss on social cues. I have my whole life. And I remember my younger years, I went between the ages of 12 and 18. I had a really tough time during that puberty stage, that becoming an adult, that adolescence into being an adult stage. Because socially, I was really awkward. I had challenges with reading the social signals of other people. And for six years, I went through a really difficult period. And it was something I don't wish on anyone. But as an adult, I've learned to manage those things because that's what it takes is a lifetime of working at yourself. This is where personal development comes in. This is why I'm so fervently proactive and with anything that helps you to become your best is because I've had to overcome unsurmountable obstacles my whole life. I got picked on, I got bullied, I got physically and emotionally beat up for six years of my life from 12 to 18 because of my autism, because I couldn't understand socially what was going on around me. I was scared. I was afraid of what was happening. I didn't pick up on the same type of interaction skills that other people normally do. That's part of neurodivergencies. So because of that, it was awkward for me. I didn't really know how to interact correctly and I fell behind. And when I got to 18, I got to college and it was like a fresh start. And I was able to do a lot of interesting things like starting a fraternity, being a part of the whole Greek life system, which was amazing too. That also came with certain challenges, again, because of neurodivergency. But in spite of that, I am winning. And then network marketing. I spent three and a half years from 18 to 21 not making any money. Sponsored two people and I literally made $26 over three and a half years. The part of the story, if you know my story about my three and a half year struggle of not making any money, the part you never heard me talk about is the other big contributing factor. My autism, my ADHD. I have some real big challenges and hurdles working through those because I miss so many of the signals that are around me and I become my own worst enemy. It's true. So with that being said, I would try really hard to mask it. I would try really hard to try to be somebody that I wasn't because being who you are, the real person, the autistic person, the ADHD person, there's a lot of conflicts that are internal. There's a lot of anger that builds up, a lot of resentment. I try to commit suicide many times during my teenage years and that's all linked to that ADHD. And the conflict that that creates actually with autism. So they're actually conflicting challenges. So I know what I had to overcome just to try to work through those things. And then you add having a way to make money 
wow, I can't do a traditional job the way that most of you neurotypical, you know, normal, regular people can that don't have some of these challenges. Because if I go in that environment, what I go through and my perspective on those is completely different than what you go through. See, most people, they get there and they get in there and they just fit in and they find a way to make it through their, their day and, and, and they survive and, and they thrive in that environment because they can just be okay with whatever's going on. But see, what happens with me is that because of the way that I emotionally am able to see the world around me, I tend to be a little bit more uh, attention to details, very strong, and noises bother me. So if there's any noise around me that's louder than, you know, than, than acceptable, um, I will cover my ears. I always done this. And, and, and it's because I get scared real easy. So it's kind of hard in some work environments, working for other people. There's gonna be some loud things. There's gonna be things like that around you. In network marketing, in the early years, I would have to go to hotel meetings. I would go to cafes. I would go to people's houses. And when I go to these environments, I've missed on many of these social cues. For example, space proximities, right? Are you with me? Socially, it's acceptable. Every country is different. In America, we probably have the furthest distance between our faces of other people. I went to school in my collegiate years to be a psychiatrist. I learned about this stuff, but it doesn't mean I was really good at practicing it for myself. <laughs> You know, learning about it, you're, you know, most counselors are really good at helping other people. They're not always that great at helping themselves. So I would have conversations with people during those first three and a half years when I was failing miserably. And I would be far too close to somebody, really close. And then the person would say to me, um, okay, give me some space. And I didn't really know what they were talking about. Being honest with you, I'm not stupid, but, you know, again, not picking up on the clues. And then people would pull away. And I wouldn't really pay attention to it. Okay, you know, I just figured they're moving, you know, back because that's what they're doing. Again, these are social cues that for neurotypicals is very, very simple to comprehend. But what I go through, neurodivergent people, we sometimes don't pick up on those things. So I'm sure I made certain people uncomfortable. I'm sure that there were certain other behavior traits that I had during that time that I wasn't getting. But then I started to do a lot of on the phone and then years later on the internet as far as marketing. And it's different because on the phone or on the internet, there isn't nothing visual that you have to pick up on the person. Now, nowadays we have Zooms and digital stuff as well, but I've allowed many years of personal growth to kick in. So I've been able to overcome some of those things and work through them, these challenges. And I've become a much stronger person at uh, these type of difficulties for myself. But I would guarantee you if Zoom was around, you know, 30 something years ago, uh, I would have had a lot of challenges on it. I wouldn't have been the person who had been comfortable even getting on Zoom because of the way I perceive myself. The self-esteem is lower in people that go through neurodivergency. It's just a challenge that we go through. And we have to really work hard at that. There's a lot of negative self-talk that starts to pop up. I used to talk really bad about myself, especially in my teenage years. It wasn't a pretty sight. A lot of negative self-talk both to myself and also verbally out loud. So these are things that we had to do. I used to mumble and stumble. I used to... Uh, my, my speech, my vernacular, I would talk really fast and it was difficult to comprehend what I was saying. So I had to learn to slow down my speech, to enunciate it, to be able to break it up so it was legibly, uh, people audibly can hear what I was saying. I became aware of my patterns, things that I was doing. Everyone with me? So I'm taking time to break down my own challenges. So if for three and a half years I was doing these things that would be considered to be not typical, a little bit awkward in the way I presented myself, then I had to learn how to work through them in order to start having success in spite of my own born and innate traits based on the autism, based on the ADHD that I had. I had to learn how to win. And that wasn't simple. That wasn't a very simple, easy task for me. 
But after three and a half years and having a mentor that would work with me, I got to actually see some things that I was missing, some cues that no matter how many notes, I was very copious with notes. I'm a really articulate person. I always have been. I try harder than most people. That's why I've been a go-getter is that I had to push myself to overcome these things. So I actually had to try three times harder than most people. I had to be that overachiever just so I could try to catch up at a younger age. And then I got myself into accelerated gifted programs. Not because I'm just automatically smarter than others, because I work harder than other people. And that carried over into my collegiate years where I could go to parties four nights a week and still get A's in all my tests. Again, I have certain skills like a rain man, right? I have a photogenic mind. So if I'm around something, I see it, I absorb it, it's mine. That's an autism trait. So I can pick up on things faster in those ways. Knowledge and intellectual uh, ideas I pick up quicker. This is why for network marketing, I can explain compensation plans and comprehend them like most people never will. But for other things, I'll miss out on it. And this is where I'm talking to you today. I'm coming to you with transparency on a topic you've never heard me talk about, which is as a neurodivergent person, I'm winning in this industry. I've made millions of dollars as a network marketer. I started off really sucking bad because I was debilitated, I was challenged, and I didn't know how to work through it. And there was nobody that was willing to take the time to even talk with me and show me that that is why I was having struggles, that this is why I was not winning. No one actually took a moment to even notice. They just saw that I was the awkward guy that was just doing a lot of behaviors and was having challenges, but no one would actually talk to me about why and how to fix it on my own. I had to figure it out. And I was embarrassed for a long part of my life to talk about this stuff because no one wants to talk about how they're not the same as other people. And no one wants to feel that they're isolated and all alone. And no one likes to feel that it's them against the world. And no one wants to feel that they're imperfect. But it's embracing those imperfections. It's about getting comfortable with the things of who you are. It's about knowing your strengths and your weaknesses. It's about knowing that no matter what you face, there's other people that will face it too. And I know these days that I'm not the only neurodiverse person that's out there that's winning, that's making it succeed and be able to have an ability to earn income. And I don't have to feel bad about who I am. And I can go out there and in spite of having ADHD, in spite of being autistic, I can win in the biggest way possible. I'm a leader of leaders. People respect and look up to me. And that being said, that's just speak volumes that if you, if you are neurodivergent and you have whatever it is that you go through, maybe you're similar to me, you have autism, maybe you have ADHD, whatever, whatever it might be, I know that you can win. And if you don't and you're neurotypical, that's great too. That means that you should have a more simpler time than me to crush it. Because I am crushing it out there and I want you to as well. But I want you to know that it hasn't been a path that I would choose if I had to do all over again. But I'm grateful for it because it allowed me to have to become my greatest self in order to get there. Everyone get it? All right, so I want you to win. If you are neurodivergent, I want you to work with me. I want you to hop in and be my business partner because together, no matter what your frustrations and challenges are, I know that you can win too. I know that it's not going to stop you. And these things that are a daily reminder to you that you're not neurotypical, you're not like everybody else, and you've been feeling down and bad about it, and you can't have and hold a traditional job like other people. I had challenges. I got fired from many jobs in my younger years because the way I would look at it was I was the boss. And I would look to see how do I make it better and how do I fix it? And they would say, get back to whatever it is the job was. And I'm like, well, no, this doesn't work. This part here is not correct. And then they would say, get back to work or else. And I'm like, but this isn't correct. And then they say, well, probably it's best if, you know, you just uh, excuse yourself. Because this is what happens when you're neurodivergent. Because you can't hold a job because you don't see the world the same way. And it's actually a really good thing. It's positive. Most neurodivergent people are entrepreneurs. You probably know that if you're neurodivergent. If you're not, now you know it. So the best people to recruit for your network marketing business would actually be neurodivergent people. If they could only have some mentorship and training and some love for you to show them how to win in this industry. 
So if you are neurodivergent, you know that I empathize with you because I'm right there. I'm with you. I struggled until I found ways to win and get through that struggle. So if you are neurotypical, you should crush this industry 10 times, maybe 100 times easier than what I have. You shouldn't have all of these hangups. You might, well, that's on you. I have hangups and it's only because of what I go through on a daily basis, the way that I perceive stuff, the perfectionism that I go through. And you should only see the struggle I have internally to work at it. And then I have the procrastination challenges that I had really bad in my teenage years. I would sit there sometimes for an hour to two hours before I even started the homework or started practicing on my trombone because I played jazz ensemble, marching band, uh, orchestra, regular band. I was really good at it. But I would fight myself because internally I'm like, I don't want to do this. And then I would sit there and just sit there and just sit there. I know it sounds really stupid, but this is the stuff, the struggles that I've gone through. I'm to a point now where I've mastered a lot of those and I'm, I'm happy, I'm in a better place. But I'm human, I still have my challenges. And besides obviously the neurodivergency, I got other health challenges like everybody else, right? So here I am, 49, and now I got other challenges, right? Like, like um, you know, you see the red on my face in different places. You know, that's dermatitis. You know, and those are health challenges. Nothing related with the ADHD or the autism. But you're gonna have health challenges in life. And these things, you can let it stop you or you can keep moving forward. I don't let any of this stuff stop me. So if I don't, you don't. I hope this conversation was the real deal for you and it got you to think outside of whatever your comfort zone is. And maybe it changed your perspective of me. I hope it did because you know what? I have lots of things that I face of challenges every day. And I am a guy who has overcome and worked through all of these different internal struggles that I face and I still face. I'll probably face these till uh, forever. The rest of my life, I'll face these, these turbulent things that go on for me and have to still win and have to find the ways through it. But it's worth it. It's worthy. So let's win together. Any one of you that wants to work with me to make a better life, to create the income, to control your, your schedule, to control the amount of income you make. If you want to win with me in the biggest way, we're crushing it right now. And I'm here to win it for all of you out there. Whether you're fully considered to be a person that has full abilities and you have no challenges at all, or if you're neurodivergent, you have all kinds of things that you struggle on every day. Love every one of you, no matter what it is, and I want you to work with me. I have a link around this video, click on there. Let's make it happen together. We're gonna to do some big things, okay? All right, love you guys, take care. We'll see you on the next video. Hope you found massive value. Let's win. Neurodivergent people, you deserve to win, so it's time, let's go.